Happy Scrubmas Day 14, everybody. Sorry you didn't get to see my face yesterday, but I'm back. And you'll probably see me in this hoodie for um, the next five days because we're just gonna go ahead and record all the intros right now. So let's see what the stocking has in store for us today. Ta-da! This scrub, I think it's my favorite scrub I've made in Scrubmas so far. This is a fun, fetty, scoopable body scrub. This, <laughs> this also smells so freaking good. I want to eat it. And speaking of Funfetti, I want to go ahead and shout out these Funfetti body wash bars I made years ago on Patreon. And I absolutely love these body wash bars and it'll go perfect with this body scrub. So let's get into the formula. I think you guys are gonna love this. So the first thing you wanna do is start out with a heat safe container. And I'm starting with the phase A ingredients and I'm adding in cocomutyl propyl butane. And then I'm adding in some glycerin followed by sodium cocal isothionate. This is a powdered anionic surfactant. And yeah, between this and the cocomutyl propyl butane, this is what helps create foam and lather. Honestly, this product doesn't have as much foam and lather as the neon pink scrub I posted maybe like five days ago. I don't know. Just go to my channel. You'll see it. It's neon pink <laughs> and it says foaming scrub. But anyway, just combine all of the phase A ingredients together as best as you can. It'll be easier to get it to combine once everything's heated. Now, working on phase B, the only thing we're gonna add in here is distilled water. And then moving on to phase C, we're going to combine Ritamol's SCG with settled alcohol, which by the way, I forgot to mention that this formula is eco -cert, technically considered natural since uh, any brand that calls himself natural would use all these ingredients. Um, but obviously, whatever your definition of natural is, um, there is no legal definition in America. So we just got to go by whatever. I don't know. Vibes. But anyway, all these ingredients are eco -cert. Then I added in the shea butter and oil. So moving on, we are going to go over to our water bath. This is just a pan filled with a bit of water and we're going to add all of our containers in there to help melt everything down. And I'm also going to cover everything with some foil, make sure none of the water splashes in and you don't want the water to get too hot. You don't want it to start boiling because then yeah, water will splash in. So be mindful of that. Keep an eye on all this stuff. And you're going to want to come back periodically and mix phase A because we're trying to get that SCI powder to dissolve fully, which by the way, I forgot to mention, you need to make sure you have a respirator on when you weigh out the SCI powder. Once you get it worked into the liquids, you're fine and you can remove your respirator. But once you got everything in the phase A combined and everything in phase C is melted, then you want to remove phase B, which is the distilled water and add back in any water that has evaporated. Cause so you're going to have to weigh this before you put it in the water. Cause you need to take note of how much it weighs. I've talked about this on my channel before. That's why I'm not really going to talk too much about it. But anytime you heat something up specifically water, you need to weigh it first and add back in whatever evaporates cause water will evaporate. So now we can pour the distilled water into phase A. So we're pouring phase B into phase A and mixing until everything is nice and smooth. So that is the process of dissolving SCI powder. <laughs> it can be a whole thing. Now we're going to pour that phase A and B concoction that we just created because we combined phase A and B together. We're gonna pour that into phase C. So now we have A, B, and C all combined into this container. I just heated everything separately to get everything to dissolve fully because I'm always worried the SCI is gonna chunk up because sometimes that happens. So heating that up separate from all the waxy, oily ingredients just help get it to melt down and dissolve evenly. Anyways, you want to mix all of those phases together until you have like a smooth concoction that looks something like this, kind of looks like really liquidy icing, and then you can remove it from heat. And we're just going to whip it a little bit. Honestly, you could probably do this by hand, but I just wanted to make sure everything was nice and combined. And I didn't mind adding like a little bit of fluffiness to it, but we're not trying to whip it up and fluff it up. We just want to make sure everything is well combined. Now you just want to let everything sit until it returns to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you can add in the phase D ingredients, which are the ingredients that are heat sensitive. So I'm going to start out with the fragrance oil, this fragrance oil, I believe it's called birthday cake. I don't know, I could not see that at all. <laughs> I don't know. 
I think it's a birthday cake. I'll link it down below. It's from uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus and it makes this smell so good. It's perfect for the funfetti experience. That's why Ali will link it down below if you're interested in it. And I just mixed that all in. And then I added in Uxel K900, which is an eco cert naturally compliant preservative. And I just mix that in until it was nice and combined. And then you end up with, I don't know, honestly on screen, it just kind of looks like a lotion here. So yeah, you want a texture that looks kind of like that and let it cool until the next day. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but that's what I did. And here is how she looks the next day. Again, literally looks like a lotion. And now we can add in the white granulated sugar. That's what I decided to use. You want to use a light sugar so it doesn't kind of show through because we are just going to keep this white because that's like the funfetti vibe. I personally think you can color this a color if you want. If you add mica, add the mica into the fragrance oil when you add it in so it doesn't chunk up. But anyway, just get that sugar all nice and combined. You'll end up with a texture that looks something like this. And now this is optional, but if you want it to be funfetti, then you need to add in the rainbow sprinkles, of course. Now I got my rainbow sprinkles from Walmart and for some reason they put white sprinkles in there. We don't want white sprinkles. So I literally sat there and picked out all the white sprinkles. Honestly, I don't recommend it. I recommend you just going and buying sprinkles without white sprinkles because that was uh, not fun to do. And I just added them in until I got like my desired look. Honestly, I kind of feel like it could use more sprinkles now that I'm looking back but that's cool. It's fine. It still looks great. And yeah, that is it. That is how you make your Funfetti body scrub. I'm obsessed with this. It scoops beautifully. Honestly, a long time ago, like a year ago, I made a scoopable scrub and I said I was going to make an eco cert version and I never did. So here is me making an eco cert naturally accepted version of a scoopable scrub. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I don't know. I'm done talking so I'm just gonna play the rest of the footage here because I don't have anything else to say. I guess I should say if you want the formula to this description box down below or should I put it on Patreon? I don't know you guys will just have to open the description box and see if it's down there or if I decided to put it on Patreon. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over there and binge watch for only $5 a month. You get access to the entire backlog and for $10 a month, you can get a shout out for your small business. So let's shout everybody out. Nature's a farm girl. Let's blend LLC.com. Stardust bath and body over on Instagram himpygirl.com, shoplevis.com, owl and lily over on etsy, embracebeautyessentials.com, legendary bath and body, a starry apothecary, revega cosmetics here on youtube, exorebb.com, pardo naturals, natural state skin, the nature in us.ca near catalier.com. You can use the code on the screen for 20% off earth and amber naturals.com shark city naturals and day to relax products.com. And the rest of these companies are launching soon. Skin by Davu.com seventh house and Oak over on Etsy at black petal beauty on Instagram, my crown and glory.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. Literally without you guys on the Patreon, I wouldn't be able to continue doing what I do. So thank you so much. <laughs>